Hey guys, Joe Kulas here once again for K-Tactical. So today we have a Midwest Industries flash suppressor for the AK-47 series. Now, it is an extraordinarily cool style flash suppressor. And honestly, uh, I'm only putting this out currently because I've seen so many people asking about it. Now, it is a very, very cool, fun flash suppressor. And if I can, I'm going to edit some shoot footage here in the end if I can find any, uh, but it, it is a cool flash suppressor. For one, just how it looks. It's a very, very neat, uh, try to get the best view here. It has a very, very neat look to it, and as well, many uses. For one, one thing that I really like is a, kind of a, somewhat of a deal on some flash suppressors has how the fit is with the threads. This one, they did something smart. They ended up putting one at each 45 degree angle. So, obviously you have four. And basically, actually, yeah, sorry, 90 degree angle. I don't know why I said 45, guys. I just realized I messed up on that. Sorry, 90 degree angle. Um, but anyways, basically it gives you as tight of a fit to the barrel. As you can see, there is really no light in between there. So to me, that is kind of a pro. Not a hugest, biggest deal ever, but it's more of a pro than anything. Now, I, I like it quite a bit. And as well, the front here is uh, kind of flanged a little bit. And that's basically for a glass breaker type thing. Now, although that isn't really necessarily needed by any means, it's just kind of one of those features that they haven't thrown into muzzle brakes as of late. Now, let's get into the actual performance-wise. And again, this is something I need to look into a little bit more. But again, throwing this video out because so many people have been curious about it. Because it is winter time here. It is getting hard to always know, you know, what I'm going to be doing. What I'm going to be able to bring a spot scope out. Somebody to help me. But this, I have, I've had this uh, AK. And you can actually check out one of the videos here. Uh, took it, shot up an East German helmet. Kind of a cool little video. This thing super accurate at 100 yards. When I threw this flash suppressor on, I was shooting to, I want to say it's the right, if I remember right, uh, and it was shooting a good couple inches to the right. And after I acknowledged that, I'm like, why is it shooting to the right? And I looked at the paper, and you know, because I put it on paper, but all the shots were, you know, not even half an inch away from each other. I'm just like, what the heck, you know? So I did some more, and I did some more, and I'm like, okay, so let's just shoot into the right. Unfortunately, I never adjusted it that day, because I, again, did not have the spotting scope on me. But, it seems to keep an extraordinarily still stable, you know, process on there. And maybe that's as well as what helping to the tighter groups a little bit, because I did notice the groups were a little bit tighter. Now, one thing with that is kind of the question of, is it keeping the stability of the bullet out better? Uh, quite possibly. Uh, for these flash pressers, honestly, the design, a lot of people kind of wonder. Some of it, I think, is for the second kind of cool. Some of it, I think, is for it actually matters. And, you know, it's just, it's some of its design. There's no real arguments about that. But unfortunately, you know, stuff happens. So, again, unfortunately, that will be in the farther future. Again, it is winter, it's cold, but whenever I can get a spot and scope out there with me, that will kind of be a second part of this interview. Just kind of throwing this out there for you guys, though, because, uh, you know, I got some people that wanted to see it. So, hope you like this little itty-bitty intro to the Midwest Industries flash presser. And feel free to look at these other cool videos on this awesome, awesome gun. Once again, thanks for watching. Have a good day.